they have respect for nature. We are depending on nature, doesn't depend on us, we are depending on it fully, 100%. just in a bit of a rush to get to the aquarium we've had immigration this morning and loads and loads of queue loads of queue loads of queue loads of queue we had loads of queue you heard it here first <laughs> now i'm very very excited to return to the aquarium i've been there last year and i was very impressed with their work <laughs> We had an amazing tour behind the scenes in the aquarium. It's one of the most impressive communities and institutions that I've ever been in contact with. And I'm really happy to have Ashwin with me now. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for everything that you've done for us today. Tell me about how you rotate and how you help the animals that you... So we, we rotate many of our animals inside the aquarium and we like to rehabilitate. So specifically the one rehabilitation program that's going on, going on is our turtle rehabilitation program. And the turtles, majority of the time, come from the warmer water from the Indian Ocean. And when they're found on our coastlines, on the Atlantic coast, you will find that the, the turtles are quite tired or they're dehydrated. And then they get to bring them here, we rehabilitate them, see if everything is okay, and then we release them again. But in some cases, it's actually a little bit sad that like we've got one of our very famous turtles his name is Bob, he's a green turtle. One day the um, veterinarian staff came and they actually saw in the water that Bob was living in is that Bob pooped out lots and lots of plastic. Plastic like two balloons, uh, a black bag, shopping bag, and because this was in his stomach for such a long time it caused the meningitis in his, in his brain which caused him to go blind. But we're so happy once all the plastic actually came out he gained sight in his one eye, but the sad part is that he's never going to gain sight in the other eye, which means Bob has to stay with us for the rest of his life. Ben, you can probably fit in this. Like a turtle. Yeah. This is how a turtle feels in the wild. <laughs> Sharks. How do you know when one is sort of unwell? Because obviously the, the ocean's big. Yes. Both oceans are big. But rule of thumb that we do here at the aquarium, so with any animal that we get, so even if it's an animal that comes from a, from a farm that we get, or we're getting it from a, 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 a sister aquarium and we get it, we don't directly put them directly into an, an, an exhibit when it's tank. So they will go up into our um, quarantine and they would stay there for about three weeks just so we can monitor them, see if they're eating, if they have any parasites in it, and then that's sort of when we actually start to pick up if there's something wrong or there's something. Well, if they're doing perfectly well, good out, they'll be in the exhibit within a month when they arrive in the aquarium. Oh, we keep our sharks in rotation between four and six years, and then we just release them with most of our animals to do that as well. What is it? Say that again. Predator shark. Ah, this is a predator. We're just above the predator tank, and we can see the shark swimming beneath us. It's something. Absolutely amazing. Tell me a funny thing. Very funny when I was taught when I went up about the anemone. I always saw this animal and I was like, what is it? Is it an animal? Is it a plant? And I realized that the anemone only has one opening. But down the center of it, it's actually its mouth and its butt. So I found that super, super funny because I mean, this animal eats 
through its mouth and it goes to the toilet through the mouth as well, which I think is so funny. How um, practical. So thank you, Bianca, for your eco brick. The way they eat is very, very good because they actually take their mouth, which is there, and they take the stomach out of their mouth, and the stomach goes over the food and it goes back into the mouth. I think I just made a new friend. I think. Then? You're always going to have background noise because of the water. I did completely did not think of that. That was the noise in the video. It was